WFNN. Headline News Update. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman here for the wrap up of the week and what we're looking at on this last uh, few, the last minute or so of the uh, trading day, the last uh, day of the week. This is uh, November the 19th, Friday, and we're looking at the Dow closing at minus 268 at 35,602. Well off the highs of, of the 8th of November at 36,565. For the Dow, if there's a close any time this week above 35,950, 36,050, that's going to be a good sign to say maybe it goes sideways. But if there is a test of the low that was made back in October of 35,490 on October, that was 27th. Uh, a close below that, that's just not a good sign. That's that arch formation that's, that failed in, in this pattern that I call the lowercase h pattern. Uh, that'll be very negative. And you'll finally get that nine period crossing under the 14 period moving average. Looking at the S&P, the S&P closed. And this is very interesting. S&P closed down 6.56 at 4697.98. Just really 4718.50 was the high of November the 5th. And it went down sharply for three days. And then it spent a bunch of time trying to get back. It hasn't gotten back. This rectangle formation says there could be one more pop-up. Be careful because it could pull back a little bit after that. So above uh, 47.22 a close, that's really good. But if there's a pullback under 46.85, uh, 46, sorry, 75, be real careful. Looking at the QQQ being helped, of course, by NVIDIA uh, and Apple was spectacular. Um, made a, had a close of 403.90 up, 2.23, all-time high today at 405.30. Make it real simple. There's a leg D in the Chapman Wave methodology. If there is a break, a, a close about 412, that is just stupendous action. But if there is a pullback anytime this week below 395, 394, I'm sorry, 394, it says, oops, be careful, consolidation phase unfolding. We're looking at the um, IWM was like the Dow, very weak, closed down two over $2 at 23271 all-time high 244.46 is having a very big digestive phase and the weekly chart peaked in pulls back let's just do gold quickly gold pull back quite sharply if it has to hold the 1435 1428 level of support it could try for 1860 gain that'll be good the dollar was strong dollar was good and it's crude oil that continues its three-week plunge to the downside and the tlt you gotta watch that next week have a wonderful weekend basil chapman sitting at the top of the line today have a good weekend. We'll see you next week. Thanks for being here.